Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're taking a look at some uh, pretty decent weather for the morning hours and into the afternoon as well, though cloud cover will be on the increase and the winds will be a bit breezy. Southeast wind coming in at about 6 right now. It's not too bad, but that'll be picking up. Dew point is at 68. Temperature is at 71. So what we have going across the Florida Peninsula right now are some fairly heavy showers and thunderstorms moving through the panhandle. Uh, that's on its way toward the uh, peninsula and then almost reaching the Big Bend region at this time, the very first part of it. It wraps up around an area of low pressure where the center of the energy of the storm is located, and that area of low pressure is tracking off to the north and the east. This cluster of showers that is riding on the cold front will lift off to the north and to the east through Georgia, parts of Alabama. I think as this system sinks southward into our area, it's going to weaken significantly. But we will get a chance of seeing some rainfall, and we do have an outside risk of seeing some severe weather. Not necessarily tornadoes, but perhaps we'll see some storms that have gusty winds, maybe even to the point of being damaging winds and classified as uh, severe thunderstorms. That would most likely occur tomorrow morning, but there's also the risk of that occurring this evening at around 6, 7, 8 o'clock. We'll watch for those two periods of time for the strongest storms. Right now, everything's quiet. The morning commute should be just fine. No issues here. The cold front that approaches promises us big changes for the weekend. We'll see this high pressure ridge build in, the wind shift around to the northwest, and much drier, cooler air filter in for a period of about three or four days. It is going to be a lovely little break from the heat and humidity that we have had. Yesterday, we hit 90 degrees. Not going to do that again for several days. Today's temperature about 5 degrees cooler than that. And then tomorrow's temperature probably 10 degrees cooler in the mid-70s. And that will linger into the weekend. So the first line of showers comes through in kind of a broken form. And then a second line of showers comes through. We'll see increasing cloud cover today as the system inches closer. Winds will be breezy and gusty. Boaters take note. There may be some... Uh, a bad boating weather over the next couple of days. Get your latest forecast before you leave port. Storms tonight and then again tomorrow morning in kind of two waves. Now, the Severe Storm Prediction Center, which is responsible for determining the severe weather threat in America, has placed our area in part of this dark green marginal risk zone. It's a very low confidence Forecast. You know, there's uncertainty in weather forecasting, obviously. Sometimes there's more uncertainty than other times. And today, with this risk zone, the uncertainty is kind of high. So we can't say with any real confidence that we would have a severe weather outbreak here. Only that there's an outside chance. So we have to be vigilant. First line of storms moves through this evening, passes through in kind of a broken fashion. Maybe a few thunderstorms are... Uh, uh, be, will be seen this evening. And then tomorrow morning, the second line moves through. Winds pick up behind that front and pick up a little bit of cloud cover off Gulf waters, a little bit of light sprinkles perhaps, and that'll linger maybe on and off through the first half of the day Friday. But the rain showers are good. In areas that see rain showers today, the risk of uh, fire danger goes from high to extremely high down to low. And maybe much of Florida We'll see that same thing happen as we head into the weekend. Daytime high temperatures on Saturday, about 75. Nighttime lows in the 60s. Beautiful weather for Music on Main, guys.